Hello everyone, this is Taiwanda Basin, the Board of Ranking Specialist of TaiwandaBasin.com, here to share with you some useful tips to help you prepare for an interview teaching children in China. Now, this applies for whether you're teaching them online or you plan to actually go to China to teach them there. So let's get started. Tip number one, tell about yourself. Okay, you're going to tell the usual stuff about you, like my name is Taiwanda Basin, I'm from the USA, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, you're not going to say blah, blah, blah. However, I want you to share something totally unique about you. Highlight something that's going to make them say, wow. And trust me, when China finds something very interesting, they do say, Whoa, okay? So I want you to highlight something, for instance, if you sing, like, we are the world, we are the children. I thought I'd just throw that in there since I'm talking about teaching children, okay? Well, maybe you play an instrument, maybe you skateboard or maybe you tell jokes maybe you can do backflips or you know maybe you can dance on a shark's head okay that didn't make sense <laughs> okay uh so you get the drift highlight something totally interesting that's going to amaze them tip number two tell about your experience teaching okay Hold on, maybe you don't have professional teaching experience. Maybe you're not a certified teacher, okay, where you are. So go back, think a little bit, and think about some teachable moments that you've had. Maybe you were a tutor in high school. I think that counts as teaching experience. Maybe you have little sisters and brothers that you have to watch and help them with their homework. So you help them through some difficult problems that they have to solve. I think that can count as teaching experience. So find something that's related to teaching and be able to word that in a way that it sounds like teaching experience because you were actually teaching, just not in a professional setting. Okay, now tip number three, be enthusiastic. You're gonna be teaching children in China and especially for the little tykes, they want you to be super animated, just like you're a Disney character. So let that shine through in your interview to let them know that you're energetic and you're very excited and you'll be that way with your students, <laughs> okay? Tip number four, be prepared for a mock lesson. Usually they'll give you the materials beforehand so that you'll be prepared to do this. But let's say during the interview, they want to ask you a question and say, well, I'm Jimmy and this is the problem. How will you teach me? Be prepared, so do a little practice. And tip number five, Ask questions to clarify anything that you are unsure of. I mean, like anything. They say, there's no dumb question. Mm, I think some people can differ. But <laughs> if you have any questions at all, make sure you ask them during the interview. Don't be afraid that they're going to think your question is going to be dumb, OK? And they may actually have a language barrier where they won't understand it. but. Make sure you clarify anything that you do not understand, okay? So this is Taiwanda Basin, the border breaking specialist of TaiwandaBasin.com, giving you tips to help you be successful on your teaching journey. Bye-bye.